Rain or Shine hopes to finally have injured Norbert Torres back in its next game in the PBA Commissioner's Cup. Coach Caloy Garcia said the young big man is already shooting basketballs in team practice, although he's yet to join the Elasto Painters in their scrimmages. But with the team not playing until Saturday of next week against Phoenix, Garcia said Torres is likely to see action by that time. I think he'll be able to play the next game, said Garcia of the Phil Canadian center forward who showed up and sat on the rain or shine bench during its 104-94 win over Blackwater Friday at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. The 28-year-old Torres found himself involved in an early Sunday morning melee along with fellow former LaSalle teammates Jiren Teng and Thomas Torres at the parking lot of the Bonifacio Global City. Norbert was the least hurt among the three, suffering a long cut on his left arm from a ring knife. The wound needed 11 stitches. Garcia said no sanction has been meted by the team on Torres for staying out late at night and getting involved in a fight that left Teng and Thomas Torres with deep stab wounds in different parts of their bodies. He was just there to protect his teammates, although I really don't know what transpired, said the rain or shine coach. Yuma with Lang Sia. Kasi Dun Sa video, Nalu Mabas, Wala Name and Siang Jinagawa, Nakateo Lang Sia. Kaya na Biglangasia na May Tomasia. Garcia said Torres's only problem is more on conditioning. Nachitayo na young stitches niya. He's shooting Naaman in practice, so conditioning lang Naaman yon magaging problema niya, he added. He hasn't been practicing, shooting lang siya, nagpapalanis lang ng stitches. So basically, we're just waiting for him to come back.